So it's August uh, 31st, 2018. We are in front of uh, C3 entrance. Uh, so today we had a full prospection of the cavity. It was total of eight of us. So uh, Richard's been supervising the team, geologist from England, Marie Sophie, supervisor of the volunteers and several other people. And I must say this was a really adventure. Today it's probably about 60 meters that we went in and uh, it does have both some geological features. In some parts it does look like a cave and some of them are, it seems, uh, done by intelligent hand. So maybe it was a combination in the past. However, when we compare all the elements, the ceiling which is a conglomerate, conglomerate on size and so on, and it seems the filler material, uh, it does remind us to the Rame tunnels that we discovered uh, in 2005-2006. So most probably this was a part of the uh, joint complex. And uh, the height above the sea level is approximately 485 meters. Now, in um, parts of the tunnels which are closer to the exit or entrance, we are finding uh, wooden branches, we are finding bones, mostly animal bones. So I would say the smaller animals, like up to mid-sized uh, dogs, foxes and similar, they were getting through the cavities. Cavities were probably about 25 centimeters in the past. Now, uh, a couple of days back we discovered the first artifact. Uh, it was an iron, very sharp uh, object, probably used in agriculture, but also for some other purposes. And today we discovered more artifacts, so I'm happy to show them to you. Here is a piece of most probably black ceramic. Now here we can see the uh, brownish color, the original. If there is so much black, it means it had been in use. So it was actually the, uh, something very practical in the, in the kitchen. So it was not like for the um, you know, ornamental purposes or decorative piece because of so much black, it means it has been exposed to the fire. And uh, another piece, a little bit bigger one, those two pieces were discovered by our friend and big supporter, Stefan Gruschwitz from Germany, who was also on expedition. Now those we are going to clean together with the uh, Visoko Museum and if some ornaments are discovered then we could probably tell the age. At this point it can be any age. It can be 100 years, it can be medieval times, six, seven, eight hundred years. It can be even a little bit older. I wouldn't say it's too much older. Now another piece of iron was discovered also uh, now this is a, a, a belt, uh, yeah. what do you call yeah. it? Belt buckle, yeah. It looks like a belt buckle. Mm -hmm. Again, it can be the hundred years, also it can be medieval times, because during the medieval times they did have similar belt buckles like this one here. And I also took one of the bones, so maybe we can do radiocarbon dating just to make sure what is the period that we are talking about. I don't think it's, it's, well, maybe it is a few years, maybe it's a few decades, because most of what we now call C1 to C5 um, cavities were actually covered by soil when we started clearing the process. So I think it's very exciting what we've discovered so far uh, today. Now, after 60 meters, we can see that most probably the tunnels go both ways, going north, north northeast, and southwest which would be rather logical. However, there are very small, very narrow uh, passageways, so I believe that they have been intentionally filled with the material. So what we have now, now we will need to do some hard work, keep uh, cleaning the tunnel. Once we get to that 60 meter point, the intersection, then we need to clean left and right and then we'll see if the tunnel does continue and I believe it does because we can clearly see some of the holes on both ends. 
so a very exciting day and I am so proud of our volunteers because behind this discovery is our volunteers, you know, last two shifts and this shift and I believe in September we're going to have more excitement coming up and that's what the Bosnian Pyramid Project is about, excitement, new stuff, good stuff about us, you never know what's going to be next. Thank you very much. I'll say a few words.